In economics, we say there was an increase in the demand for fried chicken. And there is a very important distinction to note, because demand is different to the quantity demanded. In general, we can say that a rise in income causes an increase in overall demand for a normal good. And this can be represented as a rightward shift of the demand curve. Yeah, OK, but, but then does the law of demand still hold? Yes, because households still intend to buy more fried chicken if the price decreases and less if the price increases. The new demand curve, D1, D1, is still downward sloping, indicating that as the price drops, say from 6 rand to 4 rand, households demand a higher quantity of fried chicken, from 22 up to 34 pieces. A movement along the curve takes place. This distinction between a shift of the demand curve and a movement along the demand curve is extremely important. If it's not clear, hit that rewind button and check it out one more time. A movement along the curve reflects the impact of a change in the price of a good on the quantity demanded. A shift of the curve shows the effect of non-price factors on the demand curve. Understanding this difference will make your study of demand in our economy that much easier. As a general rule, we can now state that any factor other than the price that increases the demand for a product is represented by a rightward shift of the demand curve, while any factor other than price that decreases the demand for a product can be represented by a leftward shift of the demand curve. Now that we know the difference between a rightward and a leftward shift of the demand curve, see what other factors you can list that will also cause a shift of the demand curve. And we'll come back and see how you did.